In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do for Lab 1. In addition to installing XAMPP and uh, a text editor and optionally Chrome if you don't have it already, um, I want you to write a simple program that uses JavaScript um, to implement a calculator. And so I've gone to XAMPP htdocs and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this Lab 1. No space. And I'm going to create a new file, text document, and I'm going to call it lab1.html. And by the way, if you're looking at your files and you don't see the extensions, you should definitely change that. So under the View menu, Options, Change Folder and Search Options, and then go to your View. Make sure that you have unchecked hide extensions for known file types. That's what lets the extension show. And it's also a good idea to uh, show hidden files, folders, and drives um, because uh, some of this stuff gets put in places where you wouldn't normally see it. So that's sort of a power user thing, but we're all CIS people here, so, um, so it's probably worth doing. Now, hide operating system files, eh, you can either leave this checked or unchecked it. Um, I've unchecked mine. So when you've made those changes, say OK, make sure you can see the .html extension, and you're good to go. So I'm going to right-click and edit this with Notepad. And I'm going to go ahead and flush out my document. So in HTML5, which is what we're using in this course, you always start with doctype HTML, like so. And then an HTML document starts with an HTML tag and ends with an end HTML. And then in between, I'll go ahead and tab over. You have the head of the document, which is closed off by end head. And you have the body of the document, which is closed off by end body. And then in the head, you can put a title. So I'm going to go ahead and create an Ohm's Law Calculator. Close off the title. And in the body, I'm going to just have a simple form that's going to have a couple of fields in it. But let me go ahead and put that in a table. So table, style, and we'll go order, um, solid, black, one pixel. So my first row is going to have a header, volts, followed by a text input, And I'm going to put an ID on that so that I can reference it in my JavaScript. And that's the end of my first row. And then my second row, I'm going to have amps, an ID of amps. And then in my third row, I'm going to have ohms. And instead of an input here, I'm just going to have a span. And I'm going to go ahead and put an ID. OK, so let's go ahead and see how this looks so far. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this into Chrome. So here's my form. Looks OK. So I also need to have a button. So let me go ahead and
call it calculate. Great, so I have a calculate button. Well, that looks good, but let me go ahead and center that calculate button. So I'm going to add a style text align center. Let's see if that works. Yep, okay. So now I have my form, but it doesn't actually do anything. So let me write some JavaScript. And in the head, I'm going to put a script tag. And I'm going to define a function called calculate. And then in my onClick attribute, I'm going to call my calculate function. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to get the value for each of these type boxes. And then I'm going to calculate the number of ohms, and then I'm going to write that result into my result span. So, go volts is equal to and get element by ID volts. So that returns the input box. Then to get the value, I say dot value. And this is going to be a piece of text, so I need to convert it to a number. So there's my first value. Oops, just a double quote there. So there's my second value. Now to calculate ohms, that's going to be the amps divided by the volts. So, and then to output my results, I'm going to get my results span. And I'll set the inner HTML equal to And then I want the ohms character. So let me look that up. And sign ampersand omega semicolon. Should be it. So let's go ahead and try it. Reload. Nope, got a little error because I forgot to close my script tag off. So now we have an opportunity to do some debugging. So I'm going to go to More Tools, JavaScript Console, and Get Element by ID is not defined. Oh, it's document.getElementById. So document.getElementById. Save that and reload to 16. And it worked. So this is a little long. Let me just fix the output. So let me go ahead and say dot to fixed to two decimal places. And that's enough for lab one. So to complete the lab, what I want you to do is upload your JavaScript file, your HTML file rather, and I also want you to access this from your running web server. 
So change the path here, like so. And you may need to say HTTP colon slash slash localhost lab1 lab1.html. And then take a screen capture of this window with or without the debugger. So hold down the Alt key, press print screen, release. That will copy the top window. You can go to Paint or any other program that handles graphics. Paste that in. And then save as. And I'll go ahead and just put it in my documents folder. Call it lab1.png. And then I want you to upload your HTML file and also your lab1.png to the Dropbox, and that's what you'll need for Lab 1.